Hello everyone. Today in a solid state topic, let us discuss about the imperfections or defects in solids. So imperfections means not a perfect solid. Then what is a perfect solid? Consider one crystalline solid. This is a crystalline solid. Here the particles are repeatedly and regularly arranged in a definite manner. Then if the entropy of the constituents at absolute zero temperature is zero, then we say that it is a perfect crystal. That is if the entropy at zero Kelvin is equal to zero, then we say that it is a perfect crystal but it is not possible because it may be due to the defects or imperfections may be due to the presence of impurities or the particles may dislocate from their normal positions. So today let us discuss about the imperfections or defects in solids. We define imperfection or defects as any deviation or departure from perfectly ordered arrangement of a constituent particles in a crystal. So it is a deviation or departure from a perfectly ordered arrangement of a constituent particles in a crystal. So these defects are again classified into two types. One is a point defect and second one is the line defect. Here in point defect, it is irregularity or deviation from ideal arrangement around a single point or an atom. If you consider this as a crystal, irregularity around a point, only one single point or an atom, then it is known as a point defect. Whereas the line defect is, it is irregularity or deviation from ideal arrangement in entire row. In entire row of lattice points, then it is known as line defect. Here in this chapter, we shall focus our study only on the point defects. This point defects are again classified into three types. One is stoichiometric defects, non-stoichiometric defects and impurity defects. In the stoichiometric defects again we have four types vacancy defect, interstitial defect, Schottky defect and Frankel defect. In this session we shall focus only on the stoichiometric defects. So let us see what is the meaning of a stoichiometry. Here stoichiometric defects are also known as intrinsic defects or thermodynamic defects. If the stoichiometry of the crystal remains undisturbed then it is known as stoichiometric defects. Then what is meant by stoichiometry? That is the ratio of number of constituent particles remains same. It should not differ then such defect is stoichiometric ratio of number of a constituent particles means the number of positive ions should be equal to number of a negative ions then that is known as a stoichiometric defects let us see one by one the first one is vacancy defect this is shown by non-ionic solids and by heating the crystal this defect may develop consider this it is a crystalline solid now here the particles may be atoms or molecules but not the ions because it is non-ionic solids. Then if the particles remains vacant like this, see here some of the lattice points are vacant here. So they are not present, they are missing then such a defect is known as a vacancy defect. If that is the case, then what happens to density? So we have density is mass by volume. Here it 
this vacant space means mass decreases but the volume remains the same mass decreases but volume remains same so density is directly proportional to mass so as mass decreases density also decreases the second type is interstitial defects when some of the extra constituent particles occupy the interst interstitial site then this defect is created like this extra constituent particles occupy the interstitial site in between site these extra particles are going to occupy then the interstitial defect is created so here what about the density mass increases but volume remains same so mass increases therefore density also increases the third one is kotki defect this is kotki defect and the last one it is frankel defect both these are shown by ionic solids and one thing here in ionic solids they exhibit electrical neutrality that means number of positive charges is equal to number of negative charges in skotki defect some ions are missing see this i have considered one ionic crystal positive ion negative ion positive ion and negative ion these are orderly arranged here some ions are missing and this crystal ionic crystals are electrically neutral so number of missing cations must be equal to number of missing anions so i will here number of missing cations is equal to number of missing anions then such defect one positive ion is missing and one negative ion is missing then such defect is known as scott key defect about the density here volume is same but mass decreases therefore the density also decreases mass decreases therefore density also decreases this defect is observed in crystals in which the cations and anions have almost comparable sizes then for example sodium chloride potassium chloride cesium chloride potassium bromide these type of crystals may show scott key defect because the sizes are almost same and the last one is the frankel defect so this frankel defect this arises when an ion usually cation because of its small size usually cation leaves its normal lattice point and occupies the interstitial site then the frankel defect is observed see here this is a crystalline ionic solid positive and negative ions usually cation because of its small size let me consider this ion it leaves its original site and occupies the interstitial site it dislocates from its normal position to the intermediate position that's why it is also known as a dislocation defect it is dislocated from its normal site to interstitial site here at normal the previous site at normal site a vacancy is created so it is a vacancy defect at its original site this is a vacancy defect vacancy defect at its original site and interstitial defect at its new site then this type of defects arises when the anions are 
the sizes of anions are greater than the cations then the Schottky defect is observed for example in a AgCl silver chloride silver bromide silver iodide here Ag plus silver ion is quite small compared to the halides so it is very easy to dislocate from its normal position to the interst interstitial side here in zinc sulfide zn plus 2 it is quite small compared to sulfide ion in certain crystals both the scott key and frankel defects are found to occur together example silver bromide in a silver bromide both the scott key and frankel defects are found to occur together thank you